What's going on guys, Mexa14 here, and today let's talk about gaming chairs. So I've been using this Costco executive office chair for the past number of years now. And lately, I found that uh, the bottom cushion has totally given way and I could feel the, the, the plywood on the seat of it and it's just so uncomfortable. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to pony up and buy a new uh, office slash gaming chair. So I've been doing my research over the past few weeks to got, try to get something that uh, I'm going to be comfortable for the next few years with. Because I mean, who wants to go spend a bunch of money every few years just to get a, a, com a comfortable office chair? So, in my research, and watching uh, a lot of other YouTubers, it seems that uh, DX Racer, those are a really popular gaming chair right now. So, I, up until a few weeks ago, I, I never really looked into a, a DX Racer chair. So, I, I did a bit of research, and um, I gotta be honest, uh, DX Racer chairs, they're just not my thing visually. I myself, I'm not a car guy, and it's a car chair. Um, I guess uh, I, I question, are gamers really into cars? I, I don't know. I, I'm guessing that DX Racer chairs, they got their start in the, I guess, gaming scene with uh, racing sims. And and from there, I got to, you know, give props to their marketing team to, to turn a racing chair into, uh, I guess, a thing that gamers really appreciate because it, it seems a lot of YouTubers. They're also, uh, I don't know if they're sponsored by DX Racer, but you see DX Racer prominently in their, in their setups because it's right on the, uh, the headrest, DX Racer. So I thought, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check out a DX Racer chair. So I went to a, a local big box store that sells DX Racer chairs. And what I found was they, they have a whole bunch of sizes of chairs. So trying to find the right size, it, it's pretty tough. I, I'm a six foot guy, about 165 pounds, pretty, pretty slim. And uh, they're comfortable chairs, but I couldn't find something that really, really fit. It, 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 it really hugged me in a, not an uncomfortable way, but I mean, they're great chairs. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna diss DX Racer at all. But uh, I've been using a Herman Miller Aeron chair for the past, I don't know, maybe eight years at, at work. I have, yeah, this uh, Herman Miller chair at work. And it is by far the most comfortable chair. I've never, when you don't consider something or you don't think about it, think about discomfort, y you know you have a winner. So I'm thinking in my head, you know, I, I really want to get a uh, Herman Miller Aeron, but those things are a thousand bucks Canadian. And I mean, if, if you got the cash to spend uh, like a thousand bucks for an office chair, then go for it. Because I mean, the health benefits, I mean, not having a sore back, I, I think it's totally worth it. So while I have DX Racer in the, in the back of my head, I, I really wanted the, uh, the Herman Miller Aeron. Because it's, it's a mesh chair, and it, it totally conforms to, to your body it, it yeah if, if you haven't sat in a herman miller aaron do it you're doing yourself a disservice by not uh giving yourself the opportunity because i myself i find the the aaron by far more comfortable than the uh, dx racer chair so if you're in the market for a new chair and you're currently a dx racer guy definitely check out the herman miller aaron um so yes again i I didn't want to spend a thousand bucks, so I thought, okay, well, my, my best shot is to uh, buy this chair used. So I looked at the used market, uh, looked at, at Craigslist, and there's a lot of a of competitive pricing on, on Craigslist. You could uh, pick one up for 350 Canadian easily. And the thing, the, the nice part about the Herman Miller, it comes in three sizes, a, a, B, and C, which is small, medium, and large. And the only thing that I don't really care for with that Aeron is the the lip of the chair it's plastic so I mean while I'm at work I don't really lounge on in the chair um, when I'm at home I like to kick my feet up and with that plastic lip it, it's kind of uncomfortable so I thought you know it, it, it's kind of a, a, a toss-up right now I want something that's gonna be super comfortable that I'm really happy with especially if I'm gonna be spending that kind of money but again if you're buying a, a chair used for 350 bucks i think that's uh, a really reasonable price being the dx racer chairs uh, the ones that i saw they start at 500 bucks and go upwards and 
I figured if I'm going to buy a DX Racer chair, I, I want the, the king size because of watching a lot of dudes on YouTube. Um, the, the bigger guys are saying the king all the way. And then um, they the DX Racer chair, they had the, uh, I guess, like the head pad pillow and the lumbar support pillow, which a lot of guys were just tossing to the side. So I thought, well, if you're tossing these pillows to the side, you know, how good is this chair? I I don't know. Again, I'm not dissing DX Racer, but uh, I just question if, if a lot of this is just marketing. So in my search, I came across the uh, the Herman Miller Embody chair, and a lot of people are raving about the Embody chair, and that is an $1,800 chair. Again, Canadian, whatever the conversion is. So yeah, looking at the used market for the uh, Herman Miller and Body, those were going for around between 600 and 700 bucks. So I thought, well, if this is a great chair, I, I, I don't want to spend that kind of money. But again, the health benefits, I, I think that's something that's worth it. If I'm going to spend my money on something, I don't want something that's just marketing hype. I want something that is really functional and is going to get the job done that I'm going to have for the next 10 years plus. And another benefit that for myself of the Herman Miller chairs, uh, they're, they're really modern chairs and I really like modern furniture. I found a store um, in my hometown that uh, sells the Embody chair. So I went down, I checked it out. It's a really cool looking chair, really modern looking chair. And to me, that's what a gamer chair should look like. I don't know, I'm a huge Star Trek fan and I'm thinking if my chair, I want it to look like the like the Enterprise captain's chair and to me when I when I look at a Herman Miller chair I'm like yeah that's that's the future I, I want that in my office so anyway so I sit down in the embodied chair and it's a really weird chair um, I it's not cushy it's not pillowy like a like an executive style office chair it's not even as pillowy as the uh, the Herman Miller Aeron I still well uh, Spoiler alert, I ended up going with the Herman Miller Aeron, or I'm sorry, the Herman Miller Embody chair. Just because, uh, I, I, as I said, I've used the Aeron for the past eight years, so I wanted something different. I wanted to try something out that, that was different than what I currently had or have been using. So I went with the Embody chair, and it is a, a, a super comfortable chair. The first week I had it, I was like, I don't know. It, it, it takes a lot of dialing in to get the, the right fit and the right feel of the chair. The only complaint that I have with my chair, um, with the Embody, I didn't get the upgraded fabric. I have the, the base grade fabric and it's not as pillowy and as soft. So I'm not, not by no means is the, the seat hard, but it's stiff. It's not as soft as I would have liked it. Like the, the air on its mesh, it, you don't feel like you're sitting, it almost feels like you're floating. Whereas this, you definitely feel like you're you're on something, but it's by no means uncomfortable. So I ended up getting a smoking deal on my Herman Miller and body chair. And this is my advice to you guys. So I was looking at the used market Craigslist and such, and it occurred to me, you know, in at my job, we all use Herman Miller Aeron chairs. So I thought I'm gonna email our, our admin person who uh, looks after getting all of our office furniture and ask her if we uh, would sell one of our extra chairs. And in doing so, she came back to me and she told me, no, we're, we don't sell our chairs to uh, employees. However, I could put you in touch with our supplier. So from there, she gave me the supplier's number and I phoned him up and I said, yeah, I'm looking for an Embody chair or an Aeron, a Herman Miller Aeron. And he goes to me, oh yeah, we got all kinds of chairs. We have Steelcase, we have Herman Miller. So come down and try one out and I'll sell it to you. I'm like, yeah, sweet. So I go down there and he has, uh, he has two Embody chairs waiting for me, one black one and one white one and a bunch of the Aeron chairs and uh, had Steelcase chairs. He had the Leap. He didn't have the gesture, unfortunately. I really wanted to try the gesture, and he had some other fancy brands. So right when I saw the the white and body chair, I was like, oh, well, that's the shit right there. I want that one. I sat down in it. Yeah, everything worked. Everything was good. I said, how much? And he goes, well, do you know what? I'll give you a deal. I'll give it to you for 350 Canadian. I'm like, no way. It's sold. Done. 
So that would be my advice to you guys. If you guys have the opportunity, if you work for an employer who uh, has a lot of, I guess, high-end office stuff, ask to, to talk to their supplier and maybe you could get a deal there because there's no chance that I could even afford a, an $1,800 chair. I'd love to. Again, for the health benefits, uh, I, I'm not looking at this as a prestige thing. Your health is paramount. If you don't have your health, you don't have anything. In, in my eyes, you got to keep yourself lean and nimble. So that's all I got for you guys today. In the comments below, if anybody's using DX Racer chairs, let me know how you find the comfort of those chairs. Do you guys think it's marketing hype or if they're the real deal? Anybody using the Herman Miller, Aeron, or Embody chairs? How are you liking those chairs? How are they working out for you guys? Do you think spending that kind of money is worth it for, for a gaming chair? If you uh, like this video, leave me a like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. What's going on guys, Mexa14 here, and today let's talk about gaming chairs. So I've been using this Costco executive office chair for the past number of years now, and lately I found that uh, the bottom cushion has totally given way and I could feel the, the, the plywood on the seat of it and it's just so uncomfortable. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to pony up and buy a new uh, office slash gaming chair. So I've been doing my research over the past few weeks to got, try to get something that uh, I'm going to be comfortable for the next few years with. Because, I mean, who wants to go spend a bunch of money every few years just to get a, a, com a comfortable office chair? So, in my research and watching uh, a lot of other YouTubers, it seems that uh, DX Racer, those are a really popular gaming chair right now. So, I... Up until a few weeks ago, I, I never really looked into a, a DX Racer chair. So I, I did a bit of research, and um, I gotta be honest, uh, DX Racer chairs, 